well. Everything started on 2nd of March 2011. There was an economic society meeting and I went there with my friend Meryl and Meryl introduced me to Zebi and from that moment I was already interested in her. I did not like him at first because he was so annoying. He is still annoying until now. <laughs> And when we start talking to each other, she said she loves Europeans. And I think after that moment, I realized, wow, maybe she's the one. I managed to convince her to come over to my place. He actually made sandwiches for dinner for me and it melted my heart. I think I won over her with my um, cooking skills. He basically stole my heart by feeding me food. He's the one because I always feel like home whenever I'm with him. She brings variety to my life. She always pushed me out of my comfort zone. I've achieved every single goal in my life by far because of him. I know I can always count on her and I know she will always take care of me. He has been there holding my hands from beginning and all the way through and he never let me give up. She is very caring and loving person and I know she loves me unconditionally. He loves the way I am and he accepts me without asking for more. And I know she will always have my back and I can always count on her. He understands me so well, even better than I do. I think I'm, I'm just really lucky to have him in my life. A month before proposal, I, I asked her parents for permission. We talked through Skype and that was a very emotional moment. They said yes, they were very supportive of us and our relationship, which was very good because I already bought a ring, so I was hoping they will say yes. So it was Saturday 28th of November 2015. He took me to Broad Beach. It was our favorite spot for weekend getaway. And I was actually hoping for him to propose. <laughs> I felt like I've been waiting all my life, but I didn't get any hint at all. I could see she was slightly disappointed after dinner. We decided to have a walk because I wanted to propose on a beach. It was dark. Um, I think after nine o'clock, we were walking next to the beach and he started telling me how much he loves me, how much I meant to him. And he said, I want to ask you a question and my heart was pounding so hard um, I didn't know what to expect and suddenly he got down on one knee and I was I was just crying yeah. so I got on one knee and I asked Zebi whether she will be my wife and instead of her answering yes she started crying and she cried so hard for a few minutes, I was kind of concerned. But yeah, I say yes. It was my dream came true and I was the happiest girl in the world. You are my best friend and I can't imagine my life without you. Oh, baby, I love you. I love you too.